Hi, welcome back to uh, another video on, sort of on the allotment, but nearby. Now today we're looking at stinging nettles. Another thing you might think, why are they looking at stinging nettles? Most people want to avoid them. Well, i done a bit of research. We've got some aphids on our fruit trees and uh, apparently one of the natural remedies uh, to get rid of them is nettle tea, nettle extract. Um, but the other thing I found out, they're not just one type of nettle, they're uh, like wannabe nettle sort of thing, faint nettles, woodland nettles and all sorts. And then there's a stingy nettle that we need. And uh, this is a stingy nettle. And really we could go into about all the other nettles, but basically all you need to know is that, you see that V at the top? It goes in a V shape and it's there, a V shape there. I'll just turn that around and you see it in the V shape. That's what you need to know. And uh, you'll see underneath on the leaves, there's a bit of fur. You can see it there, that's the stingy bit. And the leaves are a certain shape as well. Yeah, aren't if you they? look at the knee, they're sort of quite triangly. That's how I can describe yeah. them. It's, it's a V with triangles on. And they're normally up to two, three foot high. Um, nettles are really good for the environment. They um, attract ladybirds and all sorts. So a lot of people treat them as weeds, but they've been around for years apparently. And that's a stupid thing, but what I mean is that going back to early times when people were planting stuff, they used to cut these uh, leaves and they put them on the base of the soil and then plant tomato plants in because they're full of nitrogen. So it's a really good thing. So what we're going to do today, we're going to have a look around the edges and we're going to just cut a few nettles, you know, the weeds. And what are you planning to do? Uh, and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to what they call macerate, which is put them in a container with either boiling water or cold water and stir them and leave them in there for say seven days and then I'm going to strain it and that's the concentrate and you then have to uh, you can use it as fertilizer or you can use it to spray any plants to keep the bugs off aphids and all sorts of things it's really interesting um, and for spraying on say a fruit tree it's one part water uh, 20 parts water, one part concentrate. If you're using it as a fertilizer to like, uh, you know, things you get in a small bottle, baby something, baby bio, I think it is, you use uh, 10 parts water, one part um, concentrate. So we'll see how it goes. If we can get rid of our aphids naturally, that's not a bad thing. Can't seem to find this concentrate anywhere though. So who knows? Might be so, a whole... that, so as John says, that is how you identify yeah. a stinging nettle because there is one that looks like a stinging nettle but isn't one. So if you are wanting to use this as a natural uh, pest control method, then obviously um, you need way. to make sure you're using the right stuff. That's what we're saying, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. the right nettle, otherwise it's pointless. Okay. Thanks. Thanks for watching, guys.